It was hard. It was a um, difficult test. The pins were brutal. Um, they, you know, they were sitting on three, four degree slopes, so it was, it was tough. Um, uh, tried hard all day and, and uh, you know, had some opportunities, but just didn't, didn't uh, make a few putts. But man, it was, it was brutal out there. It was brutal out there and tough finish. And, but, uh, you know, swung, swung up pretty well, kept my composure and, uh, you know, keep putting yourself in good position. Uh, you know, it's a good opportunity every time. You ready to take the positives? Oh, I already have. It's already done. I mean, it's, um, you know, I played hard till, till the, till the end and, and, uh, you know, I can't be too disappointed with the result or I can't be too down on it because then I'm missing the whole point and then I leave here with nothing. So I played great, you know, I tried hard and, um, you know, 17 was really tough because I thought I made a really good swing and ended up in a really awkward spot. And But, uh, you know, that's, gosh, that's golf. Well, there were a lot of lead changes, my tour. Were you watching the leaderboard any? A little bit, but it was tough. I mean, there's kind of no point when you're on the fifth or sixth hole to watch the lead because when you come around to 16, 17, it, it, you know, you just have no idea what it's going to be. How valuable is the experience of playing in the final group of the league? Yeah, it's, it's important. You know, it's different than, than another event. You know, it's not different from playing golf. You just have to go out there and do it. But putting yourself in there, um, how you respond and, and uh, is important. And it's um, dealing with adrenaline and excitement and, you know, it's... Uh, it, it's good to be there because every time you get back there again, it's like I feel like just a little bit more calm because you know um, it's still golf and it's still just about hitting good shots. How difficult was it to pick up strokes going into those last three or four holes knowing that you had to do Yeah, it's not fun trying to make birdies on the last last three there. And Phil and I had great chances at 16 and, and none of us could make it. Um, 17 was a really tough because it, it, it seemed like the green was twice as slow as the other greens for some reason. I guess the rain really, really dampened it. I thought I had a pretty good pitch. I thought I had to just get over the hill and, and his putt the same. Just get over the hill and I'll roll down there. And it, and it, man, it just, it just, it was putting through glue. So, um, yeah, not, not a favorable position to be making up shots. Hunter, Phil yeah. talked yesterday about how you and him are real good friends. What are your feelings for him right now? I don't like him very much. He's kind of a, <laughs> um, Phil's, you know, Phil does an incredible, he's a great leader, you know, and, and, in, and being in golf, it's not, you don't hear that word very often as a leader, but he's really a leader in the game and he really takes his time out to talk to the young guys and, and somewhat mentor them. You know, he's done with Keegan Bradley, he did it with myself at the President's Cup and, you know, he really relishes that role and enjoys it and, uh, you know, he's a great guy to, to admire. I mean, he just, he plays golf really the right way, the right way you want your kids to play and that's by having fun and, and uh, acting right out on the golf course. So it's, um, you know, he's always great to play with. To share that theater with him, to share that theater with him. I mean, yeah, that's really what's out. I mean, it's sport, but it's theater too. Yeah, you know, I've played with him, tw you know, he's finished second six times now, or five or six, and I've been there twice with him. So it, it, it's, um, it's, uh, it's a great it's a great experience because it's really unlike, you know, I'm sure Stricker and Schwartz all had a good grouping, but you know, when it's Phil and it's definitely in the Northeast, um, it's, it's rowdy and it's different <laughs> and, uh, I heard happy birthday probably 18 times a day. Um, so uh, it's, it's stuck. Hopefully I won't wake up tonight screaming happy birthday. So, But it was fun. Hunter, Hunter thank you, you very same... much. We have to leave. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Way. Oh, wait, thanks. Hunter, you have the same swing coach as Justin Rose, and you guys have both beautiful swings and a lot of similarities in game. Great ball strikers. You know, yeah. What do you like about Justin's game, his swing? Do you just talk about Justin a little bit? Please? Yeah, you know, it's, uh, well, I, feel, I feel happy for Foley um, because um, – you know, some doubt his, his, his teachings and what he does and stuff. So I feel good for him. Um, he had two guys up there trying to win a major and that's, you know, not a lot of teachers can say that. And, um, um, Justin's a really good guy. He's got, man, he's got loads of talent. He's got a great game. He's got a great work ethic. Um, you know, he's just one of those guys that just has to, had to keep plodding along and just keep trusting himself. I think more than anything else is just trust his abilities because his abilities are really second to none. Give you encouragement, kind of. Oh, 100%. Well, I, I stepped on a tee today knowing I was going to win, and I leave 18th tee knowing I can win. So it's all good.